Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I am Taumich and I'm this time going to show you some basic uh, blender facts and uh, to go through the UI interface as well as the movement in the program. So let's get started. I'm by the way using Blender 2.68a and that shouldn't matter about much because uh, uh, even though it might be an older version than yours because it's uh, usually the same throughout all the Blender programs. So, uh, the, uh, the UI interface, uh, it is split into areas uh, that you can see uh, if I show you like this. So here we have one area, here we have one area that we can increase and decrease, and in the bottom part we have one other area. So uh, all, that, all these areas have something in common, which is uh, this little thing down here, where you can change uh, the content inside of the area. So I can, for instance, uh, change the properties or uh, let me show the 3D view uh, where we can see another cube. And the, the 3D view will always, uh, or even the, whatever I do in, the, in one view, it will sync it to the other views. So whatever I do with this square will be applied to that one too. And the, the, this middle area here also has a, point, uh, a part here, down here, where I can If I just show you when I switch everything into info, which is uh, the one usually uh, present in the top. So let me move that up and then info and info. Then now you can see all the areas, how they are located. We have uh, this part, the bottom part is usually the timeline, the right part is usually the properties or the tools. Then we have this little part here, which usually contains uh, all the objects inside of the world. And the top one, which is the info or the menu. So how do we change back? Well, we just go back to it and press 3D view for that. This one is timeline, that. This one here is the property, I think, something like that. Um, there, user. No, that's wrong. It should be something, let's see here. Uh, properties. There we have it. And this one should be also something... Hmm. Outliner. Yeah, that's right. So, now we have everything as default. Then the first thing we can do is just to toggle full screen with all the... F, Alt F11 is the shortcut. Let me try that. Yeah, it works. So then you might wonder, uh, how can I change these, uh, or can, how can I add or remove screens? Because that's usually a pro uh, something very useful in this program. Because you might ha want to have more than what, just one three view. So the method is to just go up to the the top right part of the screen or of the area and the hold the little part with diagonal lines and then drag out one copy then there's also other methods to do this one which is uh, to right click in between in the intersection point between two areas so right click there and then you have two options Join area or split area. The split area basically split is, uh, yeah, parts, divides the area into two segments or two views. And uh, whatever I do in one area will be applied to the other. So they sync together. This means that I can have different views and angles and do stuff and yeah, very useful. It's like a real 3D view. Uh, but then to remove an area, right click, uh, one of the intersection places and then join. Now you just click on the area that you want to remove and then the arrow shows you what area will uh, take over uh, the old ones. So if I want to remove that one then I just hit that button and uh, I can do the same here. Join area and choose which one to remove and if I want to remove that I click here. So now we have this little cube in the middle and uh, let's then go to the second part, which is movement and how to uh, yeah, look around, to, to, how to maneuver 
So uh, if I'll just uh, add the screencast, then you can see what buttons I press. Let me just uh, change it from, uh, hmm, let's see, where is it? Yeah, uh, to text so that you can see uh, what button I press. So if we hide that again, and then uh, to zoom around, you just scroll the whole mouse button. Pretty easy. And yeah, back and forth. Uh, downwards makes it out, and the other one is inwards. And make sure uh, make sure not to go too far because it decreases over time in the scale of uh, zooming. Then uh, to uh, tilt around the camera, you hold down the middle mouse button and move your mouse uh, to uh, yeah anywhere on the screen to move it to tilt your camera that di direction so it's pretty basic movements here then everything right now is uh, centered on the cube and to but to change the center point you just hold the shift button left shift i usually use so hold the left shift and then hold your middle mouse button and now move around. So if you hold these two, well, as long as you hold them, you can move around your center and then may maybe place it there somewhere. And now whenever you zoom in and zoom out, it will be at the center. And also when you tilt your camera, it will be at the center. And then a tip to move back is to uh, go uh, go sideways about 90 degrees of uh, from the cube like this maybe and then hold shift again and hold middle mouse button and then drag your cam your center to the block like that and now it's basically centered again you can also center on top so that uh, yeah it will be closer now and further away because the center is somewhere here in between and move it back. Uh, and also, if you have the center maybe somewhere outside, and uh, try to tilt around, you want to uh, tilt around the cube again, then uh, it might not work as easy because uh, you always tilt around the center. And that's a common mistake that uh, I usually did. And also that uh, if you now want to zoom into the cube more, but you can't because you you have you are inside of the center. Then uh, what you must make sure is to move your center instead. So zoom out again, go to uh, go to the side about ninety degrees from your center to uh, um, the cube. Then hold shift middle mouse button and uh, drag it back like that because now it's easier to. Oh, actually we have the center on top so 90 degrees try to move it back and yeah it's about it's about in the middle now so now it's uh, as it should be i hope you uh, uh, learned a lot in this tutorial about the basics and uh, to learn more watch my other videos which i should uh, link in uh, the sides here or something so see you later and uh, good luck with your blendering. Bye bye.